Specialized cells. Now, plants have three main types of specialized cells, and these are root hair cells, guard cells, and pellicide cells. Now, let's begin off with root hair cells. As you can see, this thread here is one. And you need to know something before. Plants absorb water through a process called osmosis. Now, and root hair cells, they're made to do this process, basically. They have a larger surface area to speed up the osmosis process. Root hair cells are found on the root tips of a plant and generally are found together with other cells uh, uh, to, in large quantities. They kind of form colonies like bacteria. They have a very, very simple structure. Uh, they have a short lifespan and are constantly being replaced. They absorb nutrition and water that is later sent to the rest of the plant. Guard cells. Now, guard cells are cells surrounding each stoma. They help uh, to regulate the rate of transportation by opening and closing the stomata. The stomata are tiny structures typically found on the outer layer of any plant's leaf. They are also known as the epidermis. For example, on the following diagram, uh, they are regulating the flow of water. Water will move from a region with higher water potential to a region of lower water potential. Palocyte cells. Palocyte cells. Well, these cells are basically the ones that you learn about in middle school and the ones that are responsible for photosynthesis. They are generally found in leaves to have the most contact with the sunlight. Palisite cells contain the largest number of chloroplasts, which, is, which essentially allows them to do photosynthesis. And this is why they are the cells that do photosynthesis. There are different types of organelles of the palisite cells, but there are six main organelles. Nucleus, the cell wall, cell membrane, chloroplast, vacuole, and the cytoplasm. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about biology, click on one of these videos or just hit the subscribe button.